Hey everyone, welcome back to Brits in Lockdown. We have Taylor Swift today. Uh, we've never done a Taylor Swift before. In fact, this is, I only think it's the second female artist one that we've done, so we're well into doing more. Uh, we've got the man for you today. Now, I only know a bit in the media about how well the video was produced, so I'm glad that we've got the video today. Um, and that there's a message behind it. So let's let's see what happens in, in this video. But yeah, I know of Taylor Swift, obviously. If you haven't, then where have you been? Um, and I know some of her songs, but I certainly, I don't really know this one, The Man. So uh, yeah, what have we got? What do you think? Um, so we got T Taylor Swift from the album Lover, released in 2019, her seventh studio album. Fair play. Um, as you said, the uh, video uh, won an award and she directed it. And it features her alter ego, Tyler Swift, which is voiced by Dwayne Johnson. Oh, interesting. Dwayne Johnson. Okay, that's cool. Right, let's give it a, give it a whirl and let's see, uh, see where this goes. I would be complex. I would be cool They'd say I played the field before I found someone to commit to And that would be okay For me to do Every conquest I had made would make me more of a boss to you I'd be a fearless leader I'd be an alpha type When everyone believes ya yeah. What's that like? I'm so sick of running as fast as I can if I'd get there quicker if I was a man And I'm so sick of them coming at me again Cause if I was a man Then I'd be the man 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 in the work they wouldn't shake their heads and question how much of this i deserve what i was wearing if i was rude could i'll be separated from my good ideas and power moves and they would toast to me or let the players play well initial reaction on that one she scrubs up all right for a bloke <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously the message is there and we, and we know inclusion, diversity, big global subject, um, you know, opportunities that, um, you know, some people get and some people don't, depending on cultures, companies, uh, you know, regions. So it's a good message. It's a, it's a good message to say, you know, certainly in this one that, you know, if, I'm a, if I were a man, this is the, the opportunities that I would get. This is how I would be. Um, but I don't necessarily have that or see that as an opportunity as, as a being a woman. So it's a great message within a song and she can sing. She is, um, she certainly can sing. Yes, yeah, she can really um, put a song together. Again, um, not sure if this is something I know recently in the in the papers, she's been having some issues with one of her publishers buying all her, all the rights to her music. So I don't know if this is a bit of a, a kick to, to that as well. Um, but so far, so good. Yeah, enjoying it. Yeah, and it's a great video. <laughs> I'd be just like Leo in Saint Tropez. I'm so sick of running as fast as I can. Wondering if I'd get there quicker if I was a man. And I'm so sick of them coming at me again. Cause if I was a man. Wondering if I'd get there quicker if I was a man. You know that and I'm so sick of running as fast as I 
sick of them coming out for you again. Yeah. Coming out for you again. Cause if I was a man, if I was a man, then I'd be the man. Yeah. I've been a man. I'm so sick of running as fast as I can. As fast as I can. Wondering if I'd get that wig or if I was a man. Hey, just checking. Was that last take more what you had in mind? Pretty good. Uh, could you try to be sexier? Maybe more likable this time? Okay. Okay. No problem. By the way, excellent work over there, Lauren. That was astonishing. Thanks. That's awesome. Very, very clever. Yeah, enjoyed it actually. Yeah, it's, I, I like songs that have got um, like a message behind it and stuff like that. And you know, and it was quite powerful. You know, the alter ego male there. And um, yeah, a couple of references you could pick up: sort of David Brent, The Office, John McEnroe type <laughs> type role models. Um, how would I have felt if I hadn't seen the video along with the song? Mm, not sure. I mean, it was the song was okay. The singing was good. Uh, I think the message was more in the video and, and the underlying, you know, um, story behind it. I think. Yeah, I think you know, I'm 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 a person. I very much into beats, rhythms, and so forth. I'm not, you know, take it or leave the lyrics, which is a really bad thing to say. But on on this sort of song, quite a heartfelt song. I think if you were just sat there, chilled, listening to the music, listen to the song. You know, it's uh, it's good. Seven. Seven. Yeah, going seven. Yeah, yeah, good one, Taylor. Yeah, enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, good. So we, we've been a bit, we've done a few different things. We've been in heavy metal. <clears> we've <throat> been into 80s hip hop. Yep. We've been to Brit pop. We've gone yep. to Justin Bieber pop. Current charts. Um, yeah, we now we've just done Taylor Swift. We're going to move on to Chris Brown again. We've done a few Chris Brown, so um, Chris Brown coming up. Uh, turn up the music. Is it turn up the music? I think so. <laughs> we obviously don't know what we're talking about, as always. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hit subscribe if you're new with us. You know we'll be doing more music. Hit some, uh, give us some requests. We do like getting our requests and engaging with our um, subscribers. So uh, yeah, hit subscribe and like, and uh, till next time, it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him. Thank you. <laughs>